Okay, our painting is dry now. Got the background dry. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to add all of the beautiful brushwork and the beautiful details to this painting. At this point um, that we have it right here, it looks kind of um, empty. So we are going to really dress this up by adding some brushwork details. So with your brush, your tiny one, we're gonna dip in some black and we're gonna start down here. We're gonna make kind of a shoreline, just a tiny bit of one. Um, and our, where our tree is gonna be kind of growing out over the water here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another horizon line is basically what we're doing. Not exactly the horizon, but that's the concept that we're gonna use. So we're gonna start over here on this side and we want it to be jagged, not straight across. When your paint starts to do that, you just need to get some more on your brush. Use a really light touch and we're gonna have it go up on this side. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back, make it just a tiny bit thicker When you get here, oops, we're gonna let it kind of Y out a little bit, like so. Fill in. I'm gonna add kind of some rocks coming up over here. This is just a silhouette. The sun is setting or rising over the lake and we have this little outcrop coming out here. But since the sun is behind it, we're not gonna see all the colors in it. It's just going to be a silhouette. Now you can see here where the oil pastel is resisting. And I like that, even though that was not planned, I like it. What is it Bob Ross says? Happy little accident. Okay, I might make some little weeds maybe coming up here. So, okay. Now we're gonna work on our tree. Our tree is here growing on this little outcrop and it's growing out over the water. So I think for this one, I'm actually gonna start at the top because I want to know for sure where it's, where it's going to end. I have an end in sight here. So I'm gonna start here and go down and across because our tree is leaning out over the water. And then another branch come here I'm gonna thicken this up just a tiny bit not a whole lot because I really like the thin tree branches and then here we're gonna kind of hook it over to the trunk here Same thing here. Now you can see I'm not moving my brush in a straight line. I'm not trying to make this perfectly straight. In fact, just the opposite. I want it to have some, some wavy lines and some rough lines and some bent lines. So here where it's kind of bending right here, I'm gonna add a thinner tree branch. Real light touch, and then when you get to the end, just kind of flick it up a little bit. Let me show you that again. Real 
light touch, flick it up. I'm gonna add some smaller branches coming off of that. You don't wanna press down hard with your brush at this point because the harder you press down, the thicker your lines are gonna be. We want really thin branches on this. I'm gonna add some interest in here. I think that's kind of boring. I'm gonna put a, a branch like so. See here where it's bent? Let's add another branch there. Some little branches working off of that. Again, right here, it's bent over, so I'm going to add a branch there, maybe some up here. Okay. I'm going to put one here to crisscross over this other section. Remember, just a light, light touch. Just like so. Now, when trees are growing in our yards at home, we usually keep them trimmed up down here at the bottom so that we don't have um, branches coming out looking kind of scraggly. We keep them trimmed, but when trees are growing out in the wild, they will have little scraggly things down at the base of their trunk. So I'm gonna put some little scraggles, for lack of a better word, <laughs> coming out down here. And maybe just some little wispy blades of grass, tall grass. Some little wispy things growing over here, too. Okay. Now it's starting to look like a Chinese painting, isn't it? A traditional Chinese painting. We're going to add some leaves next to our tree using the same tiny brush and black paint. Which the black on this yellow is really turning out to be more of a brown, but I like it that way. And we're just going to add little blobs of color. These are just little suggestions of leaves. You don't have to, you know, be real meticulous and make the leaf shape. Unless you just want to. But I'm just doing... Some little splashes of leaves. <laughs> I can hear my family talking in the next room. Hope you can't hear them. If you can, that's okay. They're talking about doing dishes. These are just suggestions of leaves. Add some down here. We're just blobbing on some color. We're not working really hard to be detailed in this. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here and I've decided I want to widen this out a little bit more and it's not too late to do that. So I'm gonna come down a little bit more like this. Then I want to add some kind of some 
shading in the water, some darkness in the water around this outcropping. That's a little too dark. So I'm just going to get my brush wet, wet it down real good. And lift some of that out. Ah, that's better. Might go back over that. Ooh, that's too bright. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I'm kind of looking at it to see if there's anything else I want to do. And at this point, I think I'm gonna be finished with it. I think I'm gonna let that be it. Now the Chinese artist used ink in addition to their color. So if you want to, I think I'm going to leave mine as is, but here's an option for you if you want to. You can grab your Sharpie um, that is in your bag. It's a thin Sharpie. I'm looking to here to see if I have a thin Sharpie handy. I don't. It's behind me on my other table. Um, but get your, you can get your thin Sharpie out of your bag and add more detail work if you would like. Another option to this is if you want to research if you would like to research some Chinese characters and add some writing to your painting, you can see here, this was very, very common. There is, oh, there we go, sorry. <laughs> there, right up here in some red ink, there is some writing on this. So if you would like to add some Chinese writing, you can Google search characters. I've done that before just for fun. And then maybe with a brush or with your Sharpie marker, you could add some Chinese writing down this side right here. That would be beautiful. And then of course, don't forget to sign it down here in the bottom right hand corner. When you're finished with these, I would love to see what you've done. I loved seeing all of your American Gothic parodies last week. Those were wonderful. I haven't gotten around to posting them on Facebook yet, but those were just wonderful. We had aliens, we had Mickey and Minnie. Um, we just had some really funny ones. So I'll get around to posting those. And then if you wouldn't mind, when you're finished with your Chinese painting, Send me a picture of it because I absolutely love seeing um, all the different creative ideas that we all have. So I will see you again next week and you'll stay safe and healthy and enjoy some time at home. Bye-bye.